what are we saying about him? Because there's been a lot of people in the last maybe week that are talking about him being overrated. I didn't watch the game live on Saturday night. I went out with my mates and I saw a lot of, I saw his name trending. Pure people saying he was at fault for the goal. And then I watched it and I was like, oh my God, they're actually lying about him already. Uh, is it right that he's starting? What are we all saying? Yeah, I think he's great. I, I, I like the kid. I think he's been good. I think he's been probably one of the only positives Man United can actually talk about this season. You know, they ain't got many, mm. have they, in the playing staff at the moment you can talk highly about. I think he's got a good ceiling, I do. And I think the potential's there, so I'd rather see him getting looking in the midfield than some of the other names that we've mentioned previously. I don't want to see Calvin Phillips in there. I don't want to see Jordan Henderson in there. I'm more than happy to see sort we've got some... You know, people always say, oh, it must be better than, there must be better than X, it must be better than Y. Well, now we're given an example of someone who might be. So we've got to see this kid, you know, and, and the Man United side, he looks very comfortable to me on the ball. You know, I think he's a position that we definitely need and that England are, are lacking in. I don't think we've got many in that position, personally, that I look at and go, wow, I think from the attack perspective, we've got a lot. And obviously you've got Declan Rice, but other than Declan Rice, how many other players can play in that box box mid, uh, midfield position? I don't think there's that many. I really don't. So I think he could be a, a really good a good uh, player for England. And I think for club and country at that age, if you can show what you're made of, then fair play. You've got, uh, you know, it's got to be exciting future for the lad. And I think it's fair play. I don't really know why people would be against this. This is a young kid who could actually show potential in an England shirt. So maybe it's because it's not their player. I don't know. Maybe it's all oh, they're overrated. It's Man United. Man United definitely overrate their players. Marcus Rashford being one of them. But we've got to see more of this kid before we start overhyping him. I think he's he looks a good potential player, a good potential talent. So let's see what he's made of, man. I don't know what you think it'll be, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's because uh, listen, of City. City I, I, no, I, I agree on the initial point. It's probably the only good thing that's come from Man United this year. That's probably that's probably fair. Um, listen, he's played 1,600 minutes this season, yeah? And uh, 135 of that was in the uh, Youth League. So we need to chill out a little bit. You know what I mean? What does that we mean, though, chill out? What are people saying? They're not saying he's the next, like, Fiera, are they? People, people, well, no, we're, he's, 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 he's got a lot of hype around him. Like what, his, what do you mean, like, what? He's got so much hype around him, bro. It's crazy. Well, like, give me an guys, example, though. What example? What well, is that the, example? the fact that he's going to be starting tonight against Belgium, having played 1,500 minutes of first-team football, you don't think that's a little bit overhyped? Not really. Who else is he supposed to pick? Well, you, you could... James Ward Prowse is doing a pretty good job. He could have picked him. So it's it's overhyped to pick Manu ahead of James Ward Prowse. I think it's a little bit. Overhyped. I think it's a little bit overhyped when he's played fifteen hundred professional minutes to now be starting for England. Now, I'm not saying it's a wrong thing, but I'm saying clearly he's overhyped. You can't say he's not overhyped when he's starting for England, having played fifteen hundred minutes. Fifteen hundred minutes, bro. Yeah, that's that's fair. The point is fair, but um, if we've got if you're if you're saying. How is this guy getting ahead of Michael Carrick? Or how is this guy getting ahead of Gareth Barry? Or how is this guy getting ahead of Owen Hargreaves? We don't have them players anymore, bro. This is like no, James no, no. Ward Prowse, who's you're a set piece guy. Playing, you're missing the point, though, bro. The point I'm trying to make here is that, like, listen, I like him. I think he's a great player. And I don't really have a problem with him being in the team. I just have a fear because this is what we love to do in this country, yeah? As soon as, as soon as anyone starts to look decent, yeah, it's, oh my God, look at this player. Absolutely amazing. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> And what happens, they turn out to be not half as good as they are and they get absolutely cooked and boom, career's over, yeah? There's so many players that you could mention. Now, I like the player. I think Kobe Mine is a good player and I think the way he's on the ball, I think we actually need something like that in England. All I'm saying Same. is be cautious. Be cautious with your hype. Be cautious with, with your, when you're building him up because he's young. How old is he? He's, he's 18 years old. You think this guy's going to have a smooth trajectory like that? No. He's going to be up and down. You know what I mean? And what I'm saying is, chill out. The guy's clearly a talent. He's going to be. Um, he's going to probably be in this England midfield for the next decade or more. Let's just take it easy with the hype and stuff because I'm telling you now, as soon as he goes for a rough patch, which he will, because every player does at that age, people will be on him like that. And I won't be sitting here cooking him. I'll be sitting here saying, told you all to chill out with your hype. And all I'm saying is, yeah, people need to calm down. He's a great player. He looks looks real talented, but he's played 1,500 professional minutes and people are going on like he's the next Zidane or something. Chill out. See, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen people no, no, calling no, no, Zidane, people, man. I no, 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 that. no, That's no, all I'm Zidane, saying. That's no, but what I'm just saying is, bro, I'm just saying calm down. Do you know what I mean? Take it easy. Because when he goes through a rough patch, which he will, 
people are what are cooking because that's what we do in this country, bro, with sports people. But I like him. I think he's a great player. I'm buzzing for the team tonight. I, I, you know what? I, I, I get where you're kind of coming from. I, the thing is with the word overhyped, I don't know what it means anymore in the sense of he's not being overhyped. He's being hyped because there is great talent there. I don't think there's anything wrong with hyping up talent. It's just when then it's, but who is then putting the expectation on it to be a smooth, to, to be smooth running. If, if you get where I'm coming from. So we can all watch him and you can tell by his first touch, the way he turns on the ball, the way he passes the ball, his vision, his movement, his, his overarching athleticism. You can look at him and you can say, if he keeps working hard and progressing, he we all know he could become a world-class player. That is not an overhyping statement. He has the tools to become one. The problem that, that, that happens is this, and I get what you're saying, be careful, but I don't think... Who is it that needs to be careful or is it about shutting people up? And what I mean by that is this. I turn around and say he's a generational talent and could become one of the best midfielders in the world in the next five years. That's Then what happens is people go, right, I'm going to look to shit on Cobby every time he touches the ball and isn't perfect because Terry or because other Man United fans have said he's really good. That isn't Man United fans saying he's there and he's going to make it no matter what. We're saying there's the, the ability to get there. I don't think that's overhyping someone. I think if someone's out there now saying he's the best midfield, one of the best two or three midfielders in the Premier League, that's a crazy take to have at this moment in time. But we should be able to openly and freely speak about the talent of young players and the excitement we feel about the trajectory that they've got and where they might go without everybody then trying to trip that player up every time they're not perfect. Like surely yeah. praising someone's talent is the acceptable thing and Lagging off an 18-year-old when he doesn't have a perfect game in three weeks' time is pro is probably the wrong thing to do. Not praise how good his talent is. I, I, I don't know, and I'm not just I'm doing it because it's Cobb. I've seen a lot of that recently. There's a lot of everyone keeps getting called overhyped, overhyped, overhyped. And I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what it means. What I used to consider overhyped was Van Dyke. Van Dyke was the best c c central defender in the world at his pomp. But when people were saying that he's maybe the greatest ever after one top season in the Premier League, I said, now you're overhyping it a little bit because you can't say he's greater than people that did it for a decade when he's been at that level for one year. That would make sense to me. But no one's really overhyping Maynou. We're just saying how talented he is and how much we want to see him given an opportunity for England. No, we yeah. watched we, no, we watched Conor Gallagher the other day. I don't want to see that again. You know, somebody in this chat is saying, oh, Seydorf, what comparison to Seydorf? That's mad if people are doing that, right? That is mad. But, so that's, just that's, not what anyone, but that's not what anyone did. What what they've sort of said is, and it was Rhea Ferdinand who first said it, he went, all Rhea Surprise. said is, Surprise. No, Surprise. no, but he didn't, but he, but he didn't, again, this was a, all he said, he goes, he gives me, he gives me glimpses of Seydorf in terms of some of the little things he does remind me of him. That is not saying a player is as good. It's like when I said this. Erling Haaland is the best young finisher we've seen in Europe, factually, since R9. That is not me saying he's as good a football player as R9. Now, idiots in the comments section will twist it and go, ah, oh, Terry thinks Haaland's as good as R9. Never said that once. That's all that they've done to Rio. Rio has said he reminds me of a player because of this little thing. For me, I didn't say Sadov. He gives me Skulls vibes in terms of how comfortable he is on the ball and how he looks all the, as all the time in the world. That isn't saying he's as good as Skulls now. It's just, and we all get reminded by older players when we see new young players come through. But as you said, what happens is Rio says it, it gets twisted. And the time it gets back to Dan, that is why then, Man United fans are saying that he's as good as Sadoff, and no one said uh, that. Uh, that. That's why people think he's overhyped then, because people are putting him in brackets of Skulls and Sadoff. They're not putting in terms of like people hear that. They hear Skulls and go, oh my God, they think he's Skulls. Sadoff, oh my God, they think he's Sadoff. Whereas if you looked at what I said, I was like, I think he looks quite a good box to box midfielder. I've been quite impressed with the early signs. Oh my God, overhype. That's not overhype. <laughs> that's just saying I've been quite impressed. He's got a long mm. way to go. He's 18. Yeah, mate. Where's he gone? Oh, Dan's frozen again. Jesus. Like, so... Nah, he's, um, he's, he's internet's tripping, man. He, uh, he's internet's tripping. Uh... Now, nah, listen, it is what it is. We'll have to see what happens with me. The, the only reason I'm sort of like saying this is because England needs someone like a Mainu in, in the team. In not Maybe not right now, maybe not only your roles, but like in future years, we need someone with his ball ability. Sounds weird, but like you know, what I mean, his, his his ability on the ball—that's better. Um, to move around, you know, what I mean, the way he can control it, 
the way he can sit back and sit next to Rice if we're under a bit of pressure. He can maybe join the attack going forward a little bit as well. Um, and he's under a lot of pressure, man. He's under a lot of pressure because now, you know, he's thrown him in there at the deep end, which is, you know, fair dues. It's up to the manager to do that. But also, you look at him at United. He's one of United's best performing players this year. 